Hey VC, how's it going? Um, uh, kind of bored this morning, so decided to just make a video of some stuff I've gotten over the past couple months. So um, I don't have a ton, but I mean, there's some really cool stuff in here. I mean, I usually I don't have that much money to spend on records for myself. I mean, I buy I buy records all the time. Uh, I'm trying to run a small record store company right now, uh, which I hope, hopefully, I will be doing after I get out of college with an actual store. But so I buy albums all the time, but uh, I only get uh, we, me and my wife made this deal where uh, we only get a hundred dollars to spend on whatever we want a month. So. I mean, you guys know, $100 doesn't really go very far with vinyl, especially new albums that are coming out in uh, next month in September is going to be a very expensive month for all this music that I like to buy. We got new Sword album, uh, Graveyard, uh, Cadaver, Uncle Acid, uh, Golden Void, a uh, bunch of other stuff that I... I I'd sit here forever. Wind hand, kind of stuff. Uh, all's coming out in the next couple months, so I might not even be able to buy all of them. So <coughs> anyway, um, I went uh, shopping today and kind of cheated because it's been about a month since I've actually been to a, a real record store, and I kind of cheated. Uh, basically, what I did, I used some of my business's money. And because there was stuff that I just had to have, so and if I came back next month, which is in a couple days, it wouldn't be there. So, so I use this business money, and I think, well, I'll just I'll just get a bunch of stuff out of my collection that I don't really listen to anymore and sell it. So that's what made this uh, purchase um, okay in my eyes. So I got rid of about. 15 or something albums to sell for these but anyway uh let's show what i got so first one I already had this album but uh when it came out there was a deluxe edition and they had the deluxe edition for 18 bucks so I, you know i had to buy it um baroness yellow and green on relapse i just had a plain black vinyl version this is the actual uh, deluxe edition with the, all the lyrics and stuff in a book form. It's pretty expensive. This is the orange vinyl. Only uh, I looked it up on Discogs. It says there's only 500 of these. This color made on the book version. It's two disc. Kind of orange marble. So for 18 bucks, I had to buy it. Um, they also had some other cool killer stuff and the record store I went to if, if any of you guys know it's called lost and found located here in Knoxville they they have some really good stuff sometimes and they're really great people uh, uh, don't overcharge for anything really you can get hundred dollar albums there for 20 bucks uh, but um, Baroness yellow and green deluxe edition um, also have this. I've been I've been looking. This isn't a really uh, that rare of an album, but I've been looking for a great copy of this forever. Cause for some reason, I really like this album. Uh, Black Sabbath, Born Again. Just a, it's a perfect copy. Jacket's great. Vinyl's perfect. Um, I don't know why. I just I like this one a lot. I have it on CD, and I've actually have the CD, the deluxe edition of the CD, and. That was the first time I really actually heard this album, and I really dug it. So, been looking for a copy ever since. Uh, another album, already had this one, but right now they're my favorite band. Uh, it was a different color of vinyl, so I had to buy it. Um, it's pretty cheap too. Uh, Graveyard lights out. Um, those of you who know this band, you know they're great. I mean, I I can't get enough of them. Got a new album coming out too. I'm, pretty pumped about that but uh my other one's like a black 
black vinyl with white spots in it. Uh, this one's like a lemon marble, if you can tell. Kind of pastel yellow kind of color. Um, and this one, it's different in some ways than the other copy I have. Let me get the other copy. <clears throat> so here's my other copy. Let me just show the vinyl on this one. Um, the vinyl on that one. This one's cool too. Um, but there's there's differences, which makes me think one of them, the the one I got is an import, because this one here I bought um, new uh, here in the U.S. Obviously, maybe not. I don't know, but. Uh, they are different, so here's the spine, if I can get that in the picture, and here's the other one I got. If you notice, the words are bigger, and the jacket was produced by um, a different vinyl manu manufacturer, uh, which, I don't know, that fascinates me. Maybe not to you, but I know it fascinates some people here in the VC, but... It does definitely fascinate me. So I was at the Lost and Found Records. Uh, uh, also found this, which I found this, so I had to buy it. Um, you just don't see this stuff. And Derek Higgins, flyover, uh, autograph. Um, this one, I mean, you don't see this. And since I know. I watch Derek's videos all the time. I had to get this. Um, it's on that. Everybody's seen this, I'm sure, because a lot, a ton of people bought this in the VC. Which makes me think that there's someone in the VC that lives around close to me, but who knows who it is? But I mean, how else would this get here? I mean, I'm sure there's other people that know about Derek, Derek's music, but most of us is from the VC, so makes me think somebody's around here um, yeah so had to buy that um, and it was it's 12 bucks so pretty good deal on that I posted on the Facebook page and a bunch of people were saying it was a great deal to get that uh, here's another here's an eight dollar fine uh, one a Griffin album I didn't have uh, what is this one Red Queen to grip Griffin 3. Just a perfect copy of this. It's got two little spots down here, but besides that, the jacket is beautiful. Um, the final is beautiful. It's on Bell Records. U.S. Press. Pretty cool. So these next ones, I don't know. If, those are the those are the five I got from Lost and Found, and uh, great store. So if you're ever in Knoxville, definitely visit that place. And I've got a whole list of other shops around here. If you haven't been to Knoxville, that are just great most of the time. I mean, sometimes I've gone. I mean, you can't find too much stuff, but most of the times I go, at least one of the places has some really cool stuff. Um, I don't know if I've shown this one. This one was two dollars somewhere a uh, big place called McKay um, Jimmy Cliff Power and the Glory it's an 80's album reggae it's it's kinda reggae kinda not uh, it was enjoyable for a, a listen um, I'll probably play it again it wasn't too bad um, but I mean you don't see this, this kinda reggae stuff that often um, so, for two bucks, I had to pick it up. Okay, so, these next three, I don't know if I've shown these, but, uh, more reggae. Uh, the store with these is, <clears throat> I got a Facebook page for my store. I mean, there's not too many likes on it right now, but I've gotten a couple. Um, I need to post it on the on our Facebook page, the YouTube Vinyl Community Facebook page, so people can see the stuff. I mean, I'm not, sell I'm not selling just garbage all the time. I'm selling... Stuff that people, hopefully, stuff you guys would actually want. So, but anyway, I uh, had to promote the business a little bit. But um, 
I met a guy off that off my own Facebook page, and he said he saw some stuff I posted that he he wanted. So, um, he said he had a he had a stack of vinyl that he just didn't want. Um, so I traded him for what he wanted, and what I wanted, um, or I took everything he had. But uh, uh, there was a bunch of stuff in there, pretty cool stuff. He had a bunch of he had early. 90s, late 80s rap and mid 80s rap and stuff. I I got all that, a uh, bunch of different stuff. Uh, very eclectic stuff. He said he didn't want, but there was some Bob Marley albums in there that I did not have, so I had to keep those. Uh, Natty Dread, and these are just perfect copies as well. So traded for these. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, not too much to say about that. Um, but got live. I actually really like. I've really gotten into my my dad was just loved always loved uh, reggae kind of stuff. So I was just at my parents' house the other day, or I guess it was a couple months ago. But I had a bunch of reggae compilations, so I just took it with me, and I just I really got into them. So um, obviously Bob Marley, but uh. Some of the other ones I'd like to get, like, uh, obviously Jimmy Cliff, uh, Peter Tosh, uh, a bunch of obscure ones were on that compilation that I'd like to find 45s of, but, uh, anyway, uh, next one, Natty Dread, or Rossman Vibrations. Um, this is probably my favorite. Uh, I already had a copy of this one, but this, this copy was a whole lot better than that one, so... Decided to sell the other one, so that's all I got. Um, uh, so yeah, so see you guys later.